In this video, we are going to be looking at another join type, and this join type is the left semi-joins. Now note, of course, this is one of those like the left anti-join, and that is that some SQL languages do not support these. Also, if you are following my Medium blog, I will be posting a code snippet that you can copy and paste uh, into Databricks, whether you're using Azure, whether you're using AWS, or whether you're using Google Cloud, and you can replicate these results. And by the way, that's true with the uh, left anti-join as well. I forgot to mention that in the video. So if we recall correctly, we have these, table that we, these tables that we've been using, Table 1 and Table 2. And if we recall, we look at that and we see that there are two matching IDs, that is 3 and 4. Uh, otherwise, nothing else matches in these tables. For instance, um, the letters don't match in Table 1 to Table 2, and the vowels do not match in Table 1 and Table 2. And if we remember correctly, if we were to do a inner join. So let's say we select star from table one and we do an inner join on table two where we're looking at, we're joining on the IDs. We will get back two records. Of course, if we go back to the data, we'll see that three and four are going to be the records that return. But we'll notice that when we get this result set, we get actually two IDs, two letters, and two vowels. What do I mean by that? Well, we have this ID field and we have this ID field. Now these are the same values, of course, but notice we have this letter field. We have this letter field, or I should say column because we're talking about SQL. No SQL would be fields, and then we have this val column, and we have this val column um, when it when it comes to our result set. So if we look at this, we actually have duplicate column names, right? We have ID, we have letter, we have val. We have ID, we have letter, we have val. Now, of course, it is true that with the letters, they're unique, right? So again, these letters C and D do not uh, match this E and F. Likewise, these uh, values uh, uni six and uni eight do not that match these values uni one and uni three, right? But the thing about these values here is that we do have duplicate values, okay? So what would we do in an inner join if we only wanted the records from table one? Well, what we would do is we would do t1.id comma t1.letter comma t1.val. Well, a left semi-join actually makes this very easy. So we'll see that we accomplish the same thing. And remember, we're doing select star here, right? I'm not doing T1 star. Um, I'm, I'm not, actually I could do T1 star, by the way, that would be another way around that other problem that I just listed, or T2 star, right? I'm selecting star from this. So when I do a left semi-join, notice how I'm selecting star from table one, uh, T1 here, left semi-join table two, uh, T2 on uh, T1 ID equals T2 ID. And we'll notice, and we'll go back in just a second, we get the results from table one. We do not get the results from table two, right? So if we go back and we look at this, we'll see that these results, three, four, CD, uni six, uni eight, those come from table one. They do not come from table two. Likewise, if we invert this and we select star from table two, left semi-join table one on the ID, we get the results from uh, table two only. We don't get the results from table one. So the table that is being left semi-joined, those results do not come back. Now, I know some people will be asking, okay, so when would we use a left semi-join like why don't we just do this and that's a good question and the answer is is that if we are just checking a result set of a table if that table exists or some of those results exist in another table but we only want to limit our query to what's in that table so let's suppose that our report is about table one that's the only records we want but we want to do a quick check to see if any of those records in table one are in table two based on this id field right we don't want to potentially get back any table two. We don't want there to be a mix up. Um, in, this, in this case, these columns are very straightforward because they're named identical, but it's not always that case. And so this prevents that from happening. Whereas with this inner join, it's not that it prevent, it doesn't prevent it. It's just we have to be very careful not to select anything from table two. This example is pretty straightforward because again, the columns are named exactly the same. It's not always that straightforward though when writing reports. And so if we don't want there to be an, uh, an overlap at all, that's where a left semi anti, uh, left semi join, I should say, uh, can come in very help, handy. So as we see, when we're doing this left semi join, it is going to return the records just like an inner join. The difference is, is that it's only going to return the result sets of the table we're selecting from, not the left semi joined table. 